Hello folks and welcome back to the workshop and it's time for an update on our inverter hacking and other projects and stuff that we've got going on. So let's have a look at what we got on the bench. So first up here on the bench, uh, which would be familiar to some of you guys if you've been following, is our Toyota Prius uh, Gen 3 inverter converter. Now, when we last left you guys with this, we had basically completed working out how all of the various subsystems uh, within this particular package work. Now, since then, I have designed, you will see a kind of a cardboard mock up here, um, an open source logic board uh, to basically replace the existing Toyota board so we've designed our own version to go in here that will control this uh, inverter converter and let us do our own thing with it now this is kind of uh, this inverter I, 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 I tended to call it the Toyota Gen 3 um, it's used in the Prius the Yaris and Aurus hybrids and if you look around you can get these guys for less than a hundred euros so um, I'll be getting some prototypes board made prototype boards made and uh, so within a few weeks we'll be able to see just how badly I've screwed up the design and see if we can get this guy to work now in the middle we have our next victim uh, this one here is a step up. This is a Lexus IS300 hybrid inverter converter. And you will see here that it's missing its logic board. That's because I have removed that and reverse engineered that. And we are currently working on a drop-in uh, board here that will... It's a very simple one. These are just JST CPT plugs and just basically screws down to these four posts and we'll have ourselves the ability to run this inverter. Um, this, is my, this is from a 2013 vehicle. Uh, this one I bought on eBay recently cost me 200 euros delivered. Um, so this is kind of in progress so this one is kind of the designs finished this one the design is in progress and over here on the right uh, we have the one that we're going to be starting in on next now, it may not be very recognizable because I have some of the parts taken off it but this is a Lexus GS 450 hybrid inverter converter and uh, I literally just got the top off this now and, and having a first look at the logic board in here um, so again this looks like a standalone kind of a logic board I recognize that connector there it's the same one that we had to hunt down for the Prius uh, so that a uh, couple of JSTs probably for the current sensors and I'm not sure about these guys here um, may end up having to come up with some kind of a plan for those but th all as they do is just go to a another custom kind of a plug here for io so worst case we could just you know delete them so this is going to be our next one and we're going to have a little ecosystem here with these three inverter converters kind of a small medium and large uh solutions uh for people that need inverters now these inverters, depending on where you look, are more expensive. Um, they can go anything. I've seen them from 300 euros plus. Uh, but, you know, obviously you'll have sellers on eBay and that trying to get a grand for them and nonsense like that. So just uh, ignore that. Now, a little bit of a story with this one. It's a, it's a kind of a bigger picture for what we're going to be doing with this. 
but that's just where we're at on the electronics bench for various reverse engineering bits. So let's go have a look out in the main workshop because uh, we have a little bit of a uh, surprise package here. Now, here on the floor, uh, for those of you that may not recognize them, we have two complete uh, gearboxes. Again, from our trusty Lexus GS450H. Uh, we have another complete inverter here. That's what that looks like um, when it's not half taken apart. Um, this gearbox here has got uh, everything on it. The low voltage loom, the whole lot. Uh, this one here uh, has got the high voltage loom. The auxiliary pump and pretty much everything except the low voltage loom uh, but basically these two gearboxes um, and the inverter converters came to me fairly recently and uh, it has basically led me down a path now uh, that I'm going to be pursuing uh, to get these guys working for EV conversions now now some of you guys may remember a few years ago that I did have uh, one of these Lexus GS450H hybrid gearboxes here on the bench and uh, managed to get it running, um, turning, that kind of thing, but nothing really came of it. Now there was kind of two reasons for that. The first reason was that the gearbox that I had bought uh, at that time had basically been completely stripped of everything uh, that I would have kind of needed. Like it had no low voltage loom, it had no high voltage loom, the auxiliary hydraulic pump had been taken off, it had no mountings, didn't have the thing, the splined kind of clutch plate type thing to go on the input shaft. It was basically completely stripped because if you look on eBay and you just look up GS450H gearbox, uh, you will see that there's quite a lot of them for sale, but they're in various states of strippedness. Uh, some of them are reasonably complete, other ones are just bare bones because the components like the auxiliary pump and the high voltage loom and that the sellers on there want to get the most that they they can uh, so they tend to strip off the bits and sell everything separately and that's fine if you're looking to replace one of these in a car and you just want to transfer over all of the parts that you've already got but for our purposes kind of you know we need them to have as many of the components on there um as we can get now very difficult i've looked at pricing on this if you were to want to get just the gearbox uh with all the bits that you've just seen here on the floor you're talking about over a grand uh to make that happen if you just go online and just go online sellers ebay and the uh, likes now the past couple of weeks i've been hunting around uh, various scrapyards within Ireland and um, came upon uh, one there about a week ago uh, that had not one but two GS450Hs in for, bre for breaking. Uh, there was a 2007 and a 2009. So, bit of haggling and negotiating and basically got Two gearboxes, two inver inverters, looms, brackets, pumps, the whole lot that you've just seen on the floor behind me uh, for less than a thousand euros. So basically I've got two complete EV conversion packages here uh, costing about 500 each. Now we're going to be obviously getting that inverter up and running uh, we're going to be getting these gearboxes running, we're going to be getting them adapted for the vehicles uh, that we want to fit them in. But the whole purpose of what I'm trying to do now is to make it more repeatable. 
I want to drive down the cost, I want to drive down the complexity so that people can find the bits that they need to do the conversions in whatever jurisdiction that you may be in. Get the bits, get a board from me or go on GitHub and make it for yourself. Put it all together and get your car down the road cheaply, quickly and efficiently. That's what I'm you know, trying all this junk for. So we've also got Prius Transaxle. We're going to be doing a front wheel drive uh, conversion project for. So with a bit of luck between the Lexus and the Prius bits, uh, we're going to have a kind of a solution ecosystem for uh, front and rear wheel drive vehicles. Now, it's not going to be that simple. You know, there's a lot of work that I'm going to have to put into this, a lot of testing, a lot of cost, blah, 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 blah. But hey, after all, guys, that is what I'm here for. So, that's where we're at. Just a quick update video. We'll have lots more boring content for you as we start deep diving into this stuff over the next few weeks and months. So, until next time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, do take a look for links in the description for GitHub where you can download all the designs that I'm working on and have worked on. Also, there's links in there for the openinverter.org forum. I would very much recommend everyone to go over there and sign up to that. Uh, we've got a growing um, participation on there and there's a lot of good info. Um, also, and finally, there'll be links there for my PayPal and Patreon should you wish to financially support any of this craziness. And I will leave you at that and until next time i know I've, I've used this one before but happy inverter hacking <laughs>